Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be flying the Airbus 320. Actually we'll be planning the MCDU to be precise, the multi-purpose control and display unit for a flight from Mumbai to Delhi. And we'll be using this acronym called DIFSHIP to make our uh, things easier. So uh, the first thing to do over here is following the acronym we'll go to the data page over here, D stands for data. We'll go to aircraft status. We'll check that, uh, that our engine type is correct. Our nav data is up to date. Next, we'll move on to I, which stands for initialization page. And we'll enter our departure airport, Mumbai, and our destination airport, which is Delhi. Then we'll enter our flight number, which is iFly221. Going along the entering the cost index which is 20 for this flight so cost index is basically your uh in simple words is time divided by fuel so if your cost index is higher that means the company prefers time more than fuel that is it's yeah uh, it's a higher priority for the airplane to reach the destination faster than to use the minimum fuel next is your cruise flight level for today's flight will be flight level 340 and uh, ground temperature is 26 degrees. Show pause is 37,890 feet. Uh, we'll go into the F, which is flight plan. We'll enter, uh, we'll click the departure aerodrome and uh, we'll choose runway 09 for departure. And we'll be using the ALBAP 2 Bravo SID for departure. It is as, as a transition and so we'll go down and so the waypoint uh, the area after is this is Quebec 1 so we'll go to airways Quebec 1 enter it over here and then we have D O S T O which is the waypoint after those two we have uh, Zulu 1 airway which goes till Apano, A P A N O, and then we have Alpha three four seven, which goes till Depass. So this is a route, our airways and our waypoints. We'll insert it. Now the next thing to do over here is we'll go to the the arrival airport, which is uh, Delhi over here go to arrival and uh, we'll expect runway 28 for arrival ILS runway 28 and our um, star standard instrument arrival will be uh, it will be depass 5 bravo we'll insert it so we are done with the flight plan and then we'll go on to the next part which is S which is the secondary flight plan. So in the secondary flight plan, for today's flight, I'll just copy the uh, active flight plan. So we're done with this. So then we'll go on to R, which is the radio nav page. So radio nav page, uh, our first viewer will be Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. And uh, second uh, viewer tuned will is also Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. And so if you want any other viewer to uh, be available at this time so you can uh, enter the VOR for example Papa Papa November so it will hard tune it like this so you can do it but it's not required over here so we'll leave it as it is then the next thing is uh, after R we go on to I again so I for init and we will go on to the second page of the initialization page this is the second page now over here we need to enter the zero fuel weight and the zero fuel weight CG. So to get the zero fuel weight, you will go to MCDU menu, options, um, payload, and you can see the zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight CG over here. So that's 59.5 and 27.5. 59.5. And 27.5 and our block fuel for today's flight will be 10.5 tons so 
we will enter 10.5 in block fuel so we are done with this and uh, you can see that the alternate and time is not filled up over here because uh, actually I didn't fill it in the alternate if you want an alternate aerodrome we can fill it over here so let's say we have an alternate aerodrome V A B B we'll enter it over here now when we go to the next page we'll see that it's also entered over here the fuel quantity is entered over here and uh, you can also from the flight plan you will get the trip wind the average wind that you can experience so let's say in this case we'll have a headwind of 30 knots so 0 3 0 sorry 0 3 0 headwind of 30 knots right all right so after this we need to go to the performance page now to get these values over here the v1 v uh, rotate and the v2 values over here and also the flap settings uh, along with the flex temperature i'll use the software which is uh you can just type a320 a320 calculator on the web and you can go to the first result over here so all you need to do is enter your details over here so this will be C cfm international and uh, ikao code is this outside the temperature you can find through the metar so the outside the temperature is um, 27 degrees 27 degrees and the qnh is 1010 qnh is 1010 we have the winds as 270 at 3 knots so we'll enter it over here 270 3 knots and we'll be using flaps 2 for takeoff packs will be on anti-ice is not required the runway will be dry yes the runway will be dry because there's no precipitation all right, so this is the important part over here. Um, RTOW is your regulator takeoff mass. So you can find that from the MCDU menu, options, and go to payload. So this is your gross weight. Your gross weight is same as your regulator takeoff mass. So that is 64.5. So you can enter it over here, 64.5. And your runway is 09 then you can just calculate so you have your values over here your flex is 61 61 degrees celsius flex 61 okay so what flex temperature is basically uh instead of using full power at certain times it's better to use uh the engine power at a reduced uh, level so as to uh prevent the wear and tear of the engine so that is uh, what the flex temperature is and then we'll be using flaps too we'll enter it flaps too over here and uh now to find the uh pitch trim one thing to do over here one method is we will go to the pedestal over here and We'll look up over here. This is the, your CG and this is your uh, pitch trim. So our CG for today was CG is 27.2. So 27.2 will be somewhere over here. 27.2. So that is approximately zero. So basically we do not need any trim for this flight. So we can just leave it as zero. Okay. We need to do it as up zero. Sorry, up zero. Yep. Yeah. So and uh, we had our V speeds as um, 147, 147, and 150. 147, 147, and 150. So, and also you can find a transition altitude uh, that will be given by ATC. So you can check your ATIS for your transition altitude. You can change it if necessary. Let's say if it was 5,000, I would have it in 5,000 and entered it like this. Okay, uh, so now we are almost uh, done with everything. 
we just have a look at everything so we'll go by diff strip which is data we have checked this that's perfect then we'll go to initialization everything is filled then flight plan flight plan looks good yeah also one very important thing is if you have any discontinuity over here uh, so you can just press the clear key and wherever the, the discontinuity is you can click it and it will be removed for example you have a discontinuity over here so you just press uh, clear and uh, press this button over here but actually we want this uh, this discontinuity over here because ADC will prob probably give us uh, red vectors at uh, this point over here and uh, so that's it and uh, yeah so that's basically how you plan your MCDO for the flight and uh, so after this you will go on to the your checklist and uh, the rest of the items for uh, the preparation of the flight so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one